Dear children, you see so many small kids in our school. We also see young ones of animals around us. The human beings and animals produce young ones of their kind. In this chapter, we will read about the young ones and their birth. Rinku's grandmother was knitting a sweater. It was about to be completed. When Rinku saw the sweater, he said, Grandma, it is not of my size. Grandma replied with a smile, Rinku, this is not for you. This is for your Nidhi auntie's baby. Rinku was surprised. He again questioned, Grandma, Nidhi auntie has no baby, but she is going to have one very soon, answered Rinku's grandma. Rinku wanted to know where the babies come from. Rinku's mother explained to him, Your Nidhi auntie is pregnant. The baby is in the mother's womb. The baby cannot eat or breathe on its own. A tube from the mother's body carries food and oxygen to the baby's body. When the baby develops completely and will be able to eat and breathe on its own, it will come out of the mother's body. Rinku was thrilled to know about his new cousin. He again asked, How would the newborn baby tell about its needs? Mother answered, Babies cry a lot. This helps the mother to know what they need. Whether they are hungry, sleepy or wet. Babies need special attention, love and care. Also know, a family expands when a baby is born in it. Babies of Animals Mammals give birth to their babies. Animals like birds, reptiles, like lizards, snakes, crocodiles, fish and insects lay eggs. The eggs hatch and the babies come out. Why are young ones produced? Human beings and animals produce young ones of their kind. They give birth or lay eggs so that their kind does not vanish completely. The process by which all living things produce more of their kind is called reproduction. Some animals look after their young ones till they become capable of fulfilling their needs of food and shelter by themselves. Also know, any animal that gives birth to live babies not eggs, and feeds its young on milk is called a mammal. Adoptive Parents and Adoption Sometimes children lose their parents in an accident or natural disasters such as earthquakes and cyclones. Nimmo is a little girl. She lost both her parents in an accident. She was just four years old at that time. Since there was no one to look after her, she was sent to an orphanage. One day, Mrs. and Mr. David came to the orphanage. As they had no child, they wanted to adopt a child. 
After finishing some legal formalities, the orphanage people handed over Nimmo to Mrs. and Mr. David. When someone brings up a child who is not born to them, it is called adoption. The child who is brought up is called the adopted child. The parents who look after the adopted child are the adoptive parents of the child. Nimmo is happy to find a new home. Mrs. and Mr. David take good care of adopted daughter. So, Nimmo is the adopted child of Mrs. and Mr. David and they are her adoptive parents. Tick the correct option. Answer the following questions. What is reproduction? The process by which all living things produce more of their kind is called reproduction. How do babies get food when they are inside their mother's body? A tube from the mother's body carries food and oxygen to the baby's body. Thus, the baby gets food when it is in her mother's body. What will happen if animals do not produce more of their own kind? If animals do not produce more of their own kind, their breed will soon be extinct. What is adoption? When someone brings up a child who is not born to them, it is called adoption. Who are adoptive parents? The parents who look after the adoptive child are called the adoptive parents of the child. Fill in the blanks. <laughs>